you recognize their voices, and you'd probably recognize their faces too. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 actors who became surprisingly good voice actors. All right, buddy, we can do this the easy way, or my vote, the hard way. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at actors who started out primarily taking on live action roles, but eventually became prominent voiceover performers. We've excluded actors who've only experimented with voiceover work on one occasion. The office of the president can't coexist with a living god that won't submit to it. Number 10, Matthew Lillard. After breaking out in films like Scream, Matthew Lillard landed the role of Shaggy Rogers in the live action Scooby-Doo movie. Later in Looney Tunes Back in Action, Lillard meets up with an animated Shaggy, voiced by Casey Kasem. You made me sound like a total space cadet, man! I'm sorry if you're the way I was, just, I was trying to be real to your character. This was far from Kasem's first performance as Shaggy, as he'd been voicing the character since 1969. Although Shaggy criticizes Lillard for his portrayal, this scene could actually be seen as one actor passing the torch to another. Kasem voiced Shaggy for the last time in 2009, five years before his death. Like me and Scoob ordered a pizza and then we just fell asleep watching a Vincent Van Gogh movie. Since then, Lillard has delivered his spot on Shaggy impression in several animated shows and movies. Like, isn't it groovy how things come full circle? Number nine, Will Friedle. Will Friedle is perhaps best known for playing Eric Matthews on Boy Meets World. In a 1999 episode, Eric tries to impress a girl by claiming to be Batman. What makes this especially funny is that he really is Batman. The same year that episode aired, Friedle took on the role of Terry McGinnis in Batman Beyond. I gave myself time off for good behavior. As the Batman of the future, Friedle began a highly successful career as a voice actor. Over the years, Friedle has voiced several other superheroes, including Deadpool in Ultimate Spider-Man and Star-Lord in the animated Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, you remembered me. That's just so nice. Of course, Friedle has also voiced his fair share of sidekicks, most notably Ron Stoppable in Kim Possible. Every drop counts when you're a thousand miles away from free refills. Number eight, Sean Astin. Making his big screen debut at the age of 13 as Mikey in The Goonies, Sean Astin went on to play the titular character in Rudy and Samwise Gamgee in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. In the 21st century, Astin has also branched out with several voiceover roles. In multiple DC projects, he's lent his voice to Billy Batson, also known as Shazam. His most notable voiceover role, though, would have to be Raphael in the 2012 version of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I never thought I'd taste anything better than worms and algae, but this is amazing! <laughs> Since many of Aston's live-action characters have been humble underdogs, you wouldn't think he'd be the ideal choice to play the turtle with the most attitude, but his take on Raphael was nothing short of badass. Number 7. Freddie Prince Jr. Through films like I Know What You Did Last Summer and She's All That, Freddie Prince Jr. solidified his place as one of the 90s' definitive heartthrobs. It's not about that. While Prince might not be an A-lister nowadays, he's managed to remain relevant through several memorable roles in animation. Prince has lent his voice to a few Bioware games, notably playing James Vega in Mass Effect 3. Nice view, but this place, it's just so not what I'm used to. In Star Wars Rebels, Prince turned in what might be the most compelling performance of his career as Jedi Master Kanan Jarrus. Go! Lead the ties away and give yourself maneuvering room! After playing a live-action Fred in 2002's Scooby-Doo and its 2004 follow-up, Prince went on to voice the character in a robot chicken sketch, reuniting with co-star Matthew Lillard. This explains everything. Number 6. Howie Mandel Howie Mandel is a well-known television host and stand-up comedian, but his voiceover resume might take some people by surprise. That's largely because his characters sound nothing like the Canadian actor. <laughs> Believe it or not, Mandel started out voicing the lovable Gizmo in Gremlins. Demonstrating a unique gift for creature voices, Mandel landed a gig on Muppet Babies, voicing Skeeter, Animal, and Bunsen Honeydew for the first two seasons. This is your captain speaking! Everyone to your battle stations! Adopting a similar one to the voice he used for Skeeter, Mandel played the titular character on Bobby's World, an animated series he also created. To think, Mandel accidentally created this voice at age 11 while choking on birthday cake. Much like Bobby, his talents are anything but generic. Yay! Rough housing! Number 5. Scarlett Johansson 
Having played the resilient Black Widow in the MCU and a seductive alien in Under the Skin, Scarlett Johansson has proven herself to be a very gifted physical actress. Even when you take her body out of the equation, though, Johansson can deliver a powerful performance with her voice alone. Okay, well, don't worry, I'm not gonna stalk you. As Samantha in Her, she evolved an operating system into a three-dimensional, fleshed-out character. How many brain cells do I have? <sighs> That's easy, too. <laughs> <laughs> Some argued that Johansson deserved serious awards consideration for her groundbreaking voiceover work. You can be with me if you want. Since then, she's lent her distinctive voice to Ka in The Jungle Book, Ash in Sing, and Nutmeg in Isle of Dogs. In terms of voiceovers, she's certainly come a long way since the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. And what's so wrong with being a kid anyway? Kids rule! Number 4. J.K. Simmons this Oscar-winning character actor can do little wrong, portraying a variety of colorful personalities in both live action and animation. And how do you think they're gonna feel about their mayor, who is a lion? On the big screen, Simmons voiced Mayor Leodore Lionheart in Zootopia and the villainous Kai in Kung Fu Panda 3. Some of Simmons' most beloved voiceover roles have been on the small screen, however. Let your mind and your spirit be free. He's acted as the wise airbender Tenzin in The Legend of Korra, and the mysterious Ford Pines in Gravity Falls. Simmons has even reprised his role as J. Jonah Jameson in various Marvel shows, and also satirized the character on The Simpsons. Stop the presses, send my wife some flowers, and bring me an Advil. What do you mean you don't work for me? You're hired. Now that you're hired, you're fired. Now that you don't work here, we can be friends. Now that we're friends, how come you never call? Some friend you are. God, I love this business. Simmons has additionally branched out with video games, voicing Cave Johnson in Portal 2 and commercials, voicing the yellow M&M. Science isn't about why. It's about why not! Number 3. Keith David This charismatic actor can dominate the screen, as demonstrated in films like Armageddon. The fate of the planet is in the hands of a bunch of retards I wouldn't trust with a potato gun. It's Mr. David's deep, booming voice that makes him one of a kind, however. It was perfectly tailored to voice the commanding Goliath in Gargoyles, getting the audience pumped with every word that came out of his mouth. Take what's left of your men and be gone! <laughs> David brought a similar magnetism to characters like Spawn and Dr. Facilier in The Princess and the Frog. You and I both know the real power in this world ain't magic. It's money. Buckets of it. His powerful voice has also made him the go-to guy to play authority figures, whether it's the U.S. president in Rick and Morty or the Flame King in Adventure Time. The recipient of three primetime Emmys for narration and voiceovers, he's one of the best in the business. What is it you seek? Speak! Number 2. Patrick Warburton As David Putty on Seinfeld, Patrick Warburton proved that nobody can play a meathead better than him. Yeah, that's right. With a deep voice that's both laid back and passionate at the same time, Warburton was born for animation. Voicing Superman, he reunited with Jerry Seinfeld for a series of American Express advertisements. I mean, surround sound. It's like, it's like you're there. What are you talking about? His more mainstream voiceover roles include Joe Swanson on Family Guy, Brock Sampson on The Venture Brothers, and Kronk in The Emperor's New Groove. Squeaky, uh, squeak, squeaker, squeaking. Warburton might not have a vast array of different voices in his repertoire, but the signature voice he brings to all his characters couldn't be better suited to the medium. He's simply the best at what he does. <laughs> well, I had a great time. Before we get to our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Katara? I even wash all the clothes! Have you ever smelled your dirty socks? Let me tell you! Not pleasant! Nemo, newcomer of orange and white, you have been called forth to the summit of Mount Wanahakalugi. Balance, smelling, nuh uh, no way, man. Balance make me wanna hurl. Ugh. Full chunkage contained. Number one, Mark Hamill. It's funny. As Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill portrayed what might be the most iconic hero in cinematic history. In animation, however, Hamill has primarily specialized in voicing villains. What do I look like? Pest control? While Hamill's played a few heroic characters like Skips on regular show, his more sinister roles include the Hobgoblin in Spider-Man, Colonel Muska in the English dub of Castle in the Sky, and Fire Lord Ozai in Avatar The Last Airbender. If you have any real courage, you'll stick around until the sun comes out. He's even returned to a galaxy far, far away, tapping into his dark side as Darth Bane. The Sith killed each other, victims of their own greed. 
Of course, Hamill's most acclaimed voiceover role would have to be the Joker in various DC properties. When it comes to evil cackling, Hamill always gets the last laugh. Made you look. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.